And we can talk to Ribal al-Assad, actually the cousin of the Syrian president. He's also uh, in the Organization for Democracy and Freedom in Syria. Thank you very much indeed for talking to Good us. Evening, what do you make of today's events in Damascus and presumably elsewhere in the country? Uh, first of all, I'd like to say I welcome the step uh, which uh, the government took today of, uh, you know, uh, that uh, the government has stepped down. Uh, but this is not enough, as this is only uh, cosmetic uh, changes. And we, uh, the people of Syria, don't want uh, cosmetic changes. They want uh, real substantial reforms. Uh, because, as you know, uh, the government doesn't have much uh, power in Syria. Uh, the power relies in, uh, in the hands of the president and the security apparatus. Uh, so what we want today is to move towards a national unity government, uh, lift uh, the, the state of emergency. It has to be lifted right away, and they should, we cannot wait anymore. How likely is that to happen, do you think? Uh, I think that today the government is very worried about uh, the situation in Syria. As we have seen before today's uh, demonstrations, there were other anti-government demonstrations. So the government is aware that they should uh, change uh, taxes, they should uh, uh, start moving towards uh, democratic uh, reforms, and this has to happen right away. They should release all political prisoners, uh, and they should allow all uh, freedoms in Syria. But your cousin came to power with talk that he was going to be the reformer, not uh, like his father, and he was going to move the country in a much more democratic direction. That has not happened at all, has it? Yeah, yeah exactly. This is why a lot of people in Syria had a lot of uh, expectations, and they have been waiting for 11 years. Uh, they expected uh, a lot of uh, things, as they were promised many times, that we are going uh, to uh, do a lot of reforms, we are going to move towards change, we are going to uh, have uh, democratic changes, we are going to allow political parties, and all of that has not happened. And it doesn't happen because there are so many interests in Syria that, uh, that don't want to see it happen? Exactly, because there are people in the security apparatuses who, who are against those changes because they're worried about their own... Uh, uh, their own stakes. And the president is not uh, strong enough or unwilling indeed to do something about them and push them aside and get on with the reforms that he promised? Uh, today we, we, we were able to see after those, uh, after those demonstrations have started that uh, he is willing and he, he, has, uh, he wants to move forward. But we could also see that there are people in the security apparatus and the secret services and others, some factions are not willing to, to give up. Because, you know, as uh, a lot of people in Dara were ch uh, chanting uh, against corruption, uh, and those, uh, uh, those people uh, would know very well that if we uh, have substan uh, substantial reforms, that they're going to lose all their, uh, uh, you know, all the stakes in the, in the, in the regime, and they're going to be brought to justice. Do you think that uh, the president, your cousin, can survive this? Might it actually mean a change at the very top of Syrian society? Well, I, I think he can. Because, uh, but he has to put a timetable, uh, as I said, to when exactly when they're going to start by lifting the state of emergency, when exactly they're going to allow uh, political, uh, you know, democratic political parties to, to exist, when are they going to move towards uh, democratic uh, reforms, uh, when are they going to release all political prisoners, uh, uh, and uh, all of this. This is, you know, uh, all what our people expecting he to can. hear uh, tomorrow in, uh, in his speech. And he can do it, and he can still be there uh, at the end of the day. Well, I think... Uh, I think, honestly, that uh, they have no other choice. He, he knows today that he has no other choice. It's either that or either, you know, uh, the government will be changed. Rubel al-Assad, we're very grateful to you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, Mr.